What's going on everyone and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and we are back down here in Kansas because we had such an amazing time last time we filmed a video like this. I was out with my wife and this time I've got my dad with me and we are going to do a, another noodle catfishing video because last time we were out here on this particular body of water, pretty much in this exact location, we absolutely killed it on some channel catfish. And we're gonna see if we cannot do the exact same thing tonight with a little bit of twist because we brought some catfish rods as well as some bass rods to see if maybe we can get into some white bass or something while we wait. Um, but we have brought the noodles that we made up last time we were down here and we are going to set all 16 of them. So if you guys missed either our making of the noodles, click right up here and go watch that video. Or if you missed our last round of noodle fishing, click right up here again and you guys can go watch either of those videos and then come right back and check out this video because both of those were pretty awesome and you guys can check out what the regulations for Kansas looks like for float line fishing, which is exactly what we are doing today. It's a little bit different than set lining um, with all of the regulations, but quick recap, these do not have a weight attached to them, so they are actually free to move throughout the body of water once a fish gets on them. They are not set in place. And the other thing is that each angler is allowed to have eight of them. So I have eight, my dad has eight, so 16 total, and we are going to be setting them throughout this little cove. And then I think we are going to run the length of the dam here, but we cannot leave these in the water overnight. We have to maintain these through the duration that they are out, which means that we are gonna be here through the evening. It is gonna get dark. We will turn on the boat lights and you guys are gonna see some nighttime catfish, hopefully. So bait of choice tonight is going to be shrimp and cut shad because that is what they wanted last time. The cut shad was on fire, so that is what we are gonna go with this time. Hopefully we're gonna find some big channel cats. Last time, all of our channel cats were in like that six to eight pound range. So we are finding some big old channel cats in about 11 to 12 feet of water. So that is what we're gonna to target tonight. Hopefully we're gonna find some big fish. Thanks for tuning in this week's video. This is AFNS Outdoors. A little TV bait shrimp, just like last time, but like, Three of these guys on a five-aught circle hook is about perfect. Probably the better bait. Big old shad. It's been frozen. Cut each of these guys into some big old chunks. is out. Alright guys, well we just got all of the lines out. They're all set. We did a mixture of the shrimp and the cut shad. The shad were definitely the preference last time so that's what we went with here. And given all of the shad that we are seeing swimming around, just the schools of shad, I can understand why that is kind of the beta preference at the moment. But we are going to do a quick check. We are just going to run down, see make sure that they are all exactly where we want them and that everything is good. Then we might do a little bit of white bass fishing. See if anything is cruising along the dam here before the sun goes down. And then we are gonna set up for the evening before that sun hits the horizon, it gets dark. And then hopefully we are gonna be in for a good night of catfishing and watch these noodles hopefully pop up. Well guys, I know you can't see it from here, but... It just went under. We just got, I know, it's going all the way under. We are literally just, I just got done talking to you a minute ago. We're still making our way back. We just set our last one. We grabbed one noodle, 
that had moved too close to one of the other ones. But our very first noodle that we set is Gone. basically a big bobber going under the water right now. You gonna land him back there? I'll land him up here then. No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm no, just... sorry. Let's go up here. Maybe. Uh, a little closer. There you go. What do you got? Nice big old fat channel. <laughs> nice channel. In the net. Look nice. at that. Six, seven pounder. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Hook him in there. Huh? You can probably unhook him in yeah. there. You need pliers? Perfect size for eating. I'll drop him over. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Nice channel cat. <laughs> and that, guys, is the fun of the noodles. I tell you what. We're just getting started. Yeah. That's the very first fish. Look where the sun is. See that? It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm telling you, these noodles are a ton of fun. It's like a giant bobber. And that was the very first one we set tonight. We're gonna get him in the box because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some more Frank's red hot catfish after the last time for his birthday, we did a fish fry. And I tell you what, none of us had ever had any fish made with Frank's red hot and it got demolished. We're gonna get reset and uh, we're gonna keep doing this for probably a good portion of the night. I think we did this till about one o'clock in the morning last time. Should be a fun night. That noodle's up. Come here, darling. Yep. She's there. Don't know what she is. You want the next close by? Looks like a little channel cat. You want the net? Huh? You want the net? Oh, I'm okay. There we go. You see it? Another nice channel. That is fish number two. It's still pretty early in the night. It's only about 9.30. So this noodle went off pretty much in the same spot as the first one. We just came back down checking the lines. Rolled up and noodle was out here. Probably about 30 yards off the bank from where it was supposed to be. So nice channel going in the box. Another one to eat. Noodle number three for this evening. Now, oh, now, where are you going? All oh, right, it went under the boat. Where are you gonna come out at? I hear it under it. There it is. Oh. And it's gone. It is gone big time. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Way over there. All right. We'll go chase you. He didn't like that. Try again on this side. Flathead. Flathead. No? Yeah? No, it ain't. I don't think so. It's a big channel. This is a big old channel. It's <laughs> a big old channel cat. He did look like a flathead when he, he came did. up. He did. That is a nice one. That is That's a, a big fish. Glad those rings stay on there. 
I don't know how they slid off all the way. Yeah. Oh my goodness! That's a big catfish. That's a big fish. Where's he at? Look at that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right in the corner. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. Every single time with them circle hooks. Over the boat, over the boat, over the boat. Stay back. Good night. Look at the size of that channel, guys. It says hit on that thing. That thing's what? 10, 12 pounds? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a good 10. <laughs> that is a solid fish. Holy cow. Give him one more good lift up here. Look at that. Beautiful fish. That's the biggest one on the noodles yet. The last two trips. So, that was fish number three. Hopefully you guys can see me. We're doing a creeper facing a flashlight right now but uh that's about what we got to work with so hopefully you guys can see it that's fish number three we are not done we are still running these lines tonight but that was by far the biggest fish that we've got hopefully we'll find a few more before the night's over all right guys so we're actually picking up the noodles uh pretty much finished up here and we got about halfway through our line and went and picked up this noodle and it actually wasn't moving um, and grabbed it and there was a fish on the end of it and considering the catfish wasn't moving that's pretty much a good indicator of what kind of catfish this is but uh, we actually have a flathead catfish here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab him because he's not hooked real well Uh, you just kind of skin hooked here. Just barely hooked. But a uh, little flathead catfish. One of my favorite catfish. I've said it in a few of my videos when we pulled these guys up. These are my favorite catfish by far. I just love these guys. Love the looks of them. Love the fight they put up and love to get them when they're much much bigger out of the rivers and stuff so we're gonna let this guy go but fun little catch to get on the uh on the float line so we're gonna get him back get him released get a shot of him going back here you go buddy see ya that circle hook does the job he's not injured he gets to go back And that was a fun little fight. We'll do it creeper style again. Kind of a fun little surprise to uh, end the night because I don't know that any of the rest of these are up, but we have a few more to check. But if that's the way our night ends, I think that's a pretty good way to end it. Fun little surprise for us. Oh, no.